What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with yet another episode of the Leicester City career mode. We have a massive episode today, the last 16 of the Carabao Cup against Liverpool and obviously we challenge ourselves in the Champions League in the group stage game against SL Benfica. Before we get into this video guys, if you could smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here, I would very much appreciate it. Last episode we smashed Tottenham and I mean absolutely obliterated them in the league 5-0 which puts us two points clear at the top of the table and also if you look at the group stages uh, we've got a healthy lead at the top of there obviously a three point gap on our biggest rivals Valencia without further ado we get ready for the game here against Liverpool Sim Simeone and Mina start up top um, Damari Gray, Chilwell, Ampadu um, Mbappu, Ake, Hazard, Lerma, Pickford all amongst the uh, usual suspects uh, in the squad so for this game against like I said Liverpool at uh, the King Power should be a good game and uh, Liverpool fielded a very strong team in with the likes of Bellerin, Fabinho, uh, Solanke on the bench. I mean, the front three speaks for itself. Mane, Firmino and Salah. And uh, I'm looking forward to this game indeed. As Shakiri gets onto the ball here, obviously a former Liverpool man himself. Plays the ball into Simeone. Simeone makes some space for himself and gets the night by the post there. Would have been a stunning goal if he would have found the back of net. But he gets that second bite of the apple there. Unfortunately, couldn't find the back of net. Loris Karius, uh, do you remember him? Uh, he's back in goal for Liverpool and made a good save there. Uh, we do come forward again. Sheridan Shakiri driving forward does find Santamino in a good position here. Uh, beats Fabinho and gets his shot away. Actually, that was Camille Glick. But Karius is having a really good game so far and he's really kept the uh, the Reds in this one. Uh, Shakiri turns away from his man, does find Mbappu. Tries to link up with him again, but it does give it away to Gruic, into Firmino, into Allen with the shot. Pickford makes a great save to keep the game all level there. And uh, we would come forward on the attack now. Ben Chilwell's in space now, left hand side. And Chilwell's going to come forward here. Damari Gray's made a run that left hand side and it is played into him. Damari Gray now with the ball at feet uh, goes past his man here. It's still Damari Gray, the English international, uh, gets a shot back now through Forgan Hazard with the shot. And he scuffs his hair foot. But again, kept piling on the pressure against Liverpool here. Santamina onto the ball. Inside to Simeone. Into Jefferson Lerma. Denied by the crossbar. What a stunning goal that would have been. But unfortunately, couldn't find the target on that occasion. As Shakiri now into the second half. We're looking to... Uh, you know, get a goal here. We're looking to go ahead. So Jared and Shakiri gets played into the ball. Uh, Giovanni Simeone uh, in a good position. Gets his shot away. And this time, finally, Leicester have the breakthrough. 1-0. Giovanni Simeone. And uh, it's a breakthrough that we wanted. It's a breakthrough that we feel we probably deserved, in all honesty. Um, Liverpool have not been up to their usual selves. Uh, Firmino, Salah and Mane just not performing at all. But one man who is, is Simeone with the goal here. So 1-0 to us. And we're looking to push on now. As the ball comes in, it does fall to Jefferson Lerma with an effort. But uh, that just goes wide of the post there. Not good from him uh, at all. Liverpool, though, still in the game. You know, a goal can get him back into this one. And Mo Salah does play in Fabinho down that right-hand side. He gets a good deep cross in there. Mbappu clears only as far as Gruic with the shot. But Pickford is equal to it. Very good save from the England number one. As the ball gets played now to Ethan Hughes, a youth prospect, down that left-hand side here. Ain't got a goal for the club yet, but he does come forward. He cuts inside. He's running to danger here, but he does find Morgan Bailey, who produces yet another save from Loris Carriers, who's had a fabulous game in nets for Liverpool today. As Santamina comes forward, he does find Memphis Depay again. Again, the Pye uh, hasn't scored in a few games now. Does find Fulgan Hazard, though, looking to get his goal. But unfortunately, it is saved again. The game does come to an end. Leicester City 1, Liverpool 0. We are into the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, which is absolutely incredible. And uh, we'll look to push on. Um, let's get another couple we want to add to our trophy cabinet. Obviously, haven't won it yet. And uh, we do push on now for a game against Bournemouth. We do go 1-0 up. Naby Keita with the finish there. Poulsen, though, does get Bournemouth back on terms at 1-1, making this game uh, open and interesting there. Uh, well, hopefully we can push on though and get the victory in this one. We don't really want to drop points, especially after that 5-0 decimation of Tottenham. Uh, as the game does approach the end, uh, it's not looking like we're going to find this goal here. And uh, time is dwindling down and we don't get it. The final score at the Vitality Stadium is Bournemouth 1, Leicester 1. And uh, was that 3-0, uh, that 5-0 sorry win and the three points against Tottenham all in vain if they're, they're going to come back and go one point ahead of us in the league? Uh, we'll have to find that in the, um, coming up before uh, the next, last game of the episode, I do believe. But we get ready for a game here against SL Benfica. Got some bad news though. Ricardo Pereira is out injured for around about two months. So Mbappu may be having a lot of game time coming coming his way. He has got quite a good stamina stat, so uh, I'm not too worried about um, him not being fit enough to play them roles. Um, again, we've got Clinton Morris, play what we did at the end of last season, to come in. He played a game against Bournemouth, uh, funnily enough last game of the Premier League season so it'll be interesting to see if he can come in and uh, do a job there but we do get ready for the game here against Benfica and they do start off on the front foot here Salvio onto the ball clears only as far as Jefferson Lerma it does find Santimina in tons of space and Santimina pulls the trigger and scores a stunner 
The home fans absolutely buzzing with that one. We're not even five minutes into the game and Santi Mina has opened it up with a great goal. I mean, um, yeah, you give him that kind of space on the edge of the box and you give him time to, you know, visualise the shot, he's going to score nine times out of ten. Santi Mina is a red-hot informed striker. And um, again, if he's in another team, he's starting every. He's starting week in, week out. It's just a shame that the likes of Memphis Depay, Anthony Martial, Deli Alley, and um, Sterling all keeping him out attacking-wise in the team. But um, again, if he keeps performing like that, Deli, um, Depay hasn't scored in a few games yet, so we might be seeing Santamina into the first team. We might be forcing the way in here. And Simeone plays him in here. He's through on goal for a second, top corner, and like, like I said, he's in piping hot form. Uh, is Santi Mina. I mean, he's performing so well. 2-0 against Benfica, and this game is pretty much over. Really can't see the uh, the Portuguese sides coming back into this one. Don't think they have the firepower, in all honesty. And as you can see, their fans not happy with that at all. Um, again, a great performance from the team attacking-wise. I mean, we, we, we're looking so dangerous this season. I believe, um, you know, we haven't considered the goal yet in the Champions League this year, which is absolutely mad as we get a shot away here of Shakiri. Varela does hold on on this instance. But again, approaching the end of the half and the, the intensity is still high, at high standard for Leicester here. Uh, Hazard does lose out and the Benfica man tries to clear. It only goes as far as Jordan Shakiri here. Shakiri lines up a shot from range, uh, trying to mirror Santi Mina's goal, but unfortunately couldn't find the back of the net. But though, right at the end of the half though, Benfica do have a rare chance to attack. And as Zikovic gets on the ball, does find Diolo Vera. And it does trickle all the way to Salvio, who crossbar and in scores. That is, funny enough, the first goal we've conceded in, I believe, five games? Maybe four. No, in four games, sorry. This is the fourth game we played in the Champions League, and that is the first goal we've conceded. So, I mean, it's disappointing. It, it, it is, but, you know, um, it's just trickled across goal there. Ethan Ampadu, you can't really blame him for that goal. I, I mean, he did lose his man, but no one expected that ball to trickle. So, you know, untouched through the middle of the box there. But nevertheless, we do come forward again in the second half. Morgan Bailey's come onto the pitch. He gets his shot away just past the post there, inches wide. Morgan Bailey really coming on leaps and bounds since last season. He's, he's one of the most important players coming off the bench. He really does have that creative spark. As Mbappu gets an opportunity to get the ball into the box here, he does find Amari Gray. And that is a cool and delicate finish there. He's onside. It's 3-1. And Leicester oh, uh, got that two-goal cushion back again. And it's Damari Gray with the finish. And like I said, Damari Gray, if he's in a, he, he walks into any you know team outside the top six first team, and he's playing week in, week out. We are a top six team now. There's no doubt about that. We probably knocked the likes of maybe, <sighs> what not to say, maybe Arsenal out. Um, Liverpool aren't having a really good season either, but well, we're going to be there consistently. You feel for the next few years as Bailey gets another opportunity, but again drags his uh, shot just wide. And uh, like I said, Damari Gray, a very underrated talent for us. But nevertheless, we come forward again. Fulgan Hazard does find Santi Mina. Mina cuts inside of his man there. And it goes all the way. Solo gets the hat-trick confirmed. It's 4-1 Leicester. But Santi Mina is he's just taking all the headlines. I mean, what a guy. What a player he is. He, he really is a dangerous player. And, um, you know, I mean, he gets into his positions. And, you know, the, the King Power, they're all up in applause because that is a, a great hat-trick he scored. Uh, two... Two goals um, from range. Um, actually, no, it wasn't. It was two goals from in the box, but a great solo effort there. And obviously, the curler at the start of the game, he really is a great player. As he comes close to a fourth there, he is denied, though, by Varela for a good save. And uh, him and Mbappe do a mirroring, um, <laughs> mirroring um, reaction there. But the game does come to an end. It's 4 1. It's a convincing victory for us. And we do push on now to um, the last game of the episode. And uh, we're pretty much qualified, I believe, for the, uh, the knockout stages in the group and uh, the next couple games we'll find out if we can finish top to do play Burnley here and uh, we're looking quite good Sterling puts us up uh, first minute into the game and uh, as it goes on he does get a second to make it 2-0 and we're looking pretty much comfortable now don't really see us losing this game from this point 15 minutes left to go and um, again it's a good end to the episode I believe that's three wins uh, two wins out of two in the Premier League no we drew against Bournemouth, so that is a win. That's four points out of a possible six. And we do remain six points clear at the top of the Premier League. Spurs have uh, fallen off the four losses they've got. They have completely fallen off the wagon here. Be interesting to see what happens going forward as we look at the league table there. Um, where are your team, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. As we look at the Champions League table, we're going to see it now. We are qualified. There's no way we're going to get caught. I, don't, I, I think we've got to avoid defeat in our next game. And um, we're pretty much qualified, so that was good, good to see. And that is good for getting to today's video, guys. Next episode, we have got games against CSK Moscow, Everton, and Southampton. I believe we have a 
Cup game against Watford. So I'll be interested to see what happens there. Guys, thanks for joining me in today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new around here. I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.